Hey guys, it's Kiki, um, and this is Saturday on the Revolution, and I'm really sorry I missed uh, two weeks ago. It would have been, the day that my video would have been up, it would have been my mother's birthday, it was my brother's birthday, and she would have been 57, I think. Anyway, March is just a really bad month for me. Um, not only do I have her birthday, but I have the anniversary of her death, and it's just, it, it, it makes me a bit of a grouchy McBreedy pants, so... Uh, not really excused, and I'm really sorry, so I'll try not to have this happen again. Yeah. Well, apparently March hates me back because uh, yesterday, or uh, yesterday when I record this, the day before yesterday when you see this, uh, for Thursday, without being all complicated, uh, I tripped over court at work, and for a few hours there, I thought I bro broke either my leg or my ankle. Um, which was kind of terrifying because I've never broken anything. Well, I broke my tailbone, cracked my tailbone when I was younger, but not really broken anything. So I had a wee bit of a panic attack. Um, it just turned out I had to go to the emergency room. First time in an ambulance, which that was entertaining. Um, and taken to the emergency room, had x-rays, all that good stuff. Turned out to be only a really bad sprain. And so I have my foot wrapped. <laughs> See, there we go, and it's wrapped loveliness and swollen. I would show you the bruising, but I really don't want to have to take that wrap off. So, uh, yes, I'm uh, I'm uh, all hobbly right now, <laughs> and it's not fun. And showering is an experience, but uh, I will be okay in a few days. So, um, yes, uh, this week's or this. Uh, Two week period, whatever is 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 free week, free time, free would talk about whatever the hell we want, and something I kind of want to talk about, and it's something that's come up recently that I've heard um, on on other blogs, something I've run across myself, is people when they talk about, and then this is usually people uh, that equate health and weight, and uh, automatically if you're fat, you're obviously going to be taking your health into uh, putting your health in danger and all this good stuff. And um, one thing, the one argument that I get quite often, and I've run across quite often, is um, why are you doing this to your family? You know, how does your family feel? This is hurting your family. Um, the people that love you and care about you, or the people, or even people that eat from your family, usually, like, you know, we only love you, we want you to change this. It makes me very extremely irritated, because the thing is, is your body is yours, because you're the only person with you from birth to death. That's it. I mean, this comes from somebody who's, I have a very large family. We're all very close, love each other very much. I, you know, being someone that's very big about family, I don't owe them anything. I don't owe them my health. I don't owe them hap their happiness in relation to my health or my body at all. Um, because if that were the case, you know, I could either stop seeing women or see them on the down low because me fucking chicks upsets a good bit of a, a portion of my family. Um, my religious beliefs, my political beliefs, uh, those upset a good portion of my family and I would either have to stop having them or I would have to just never talk about them. And that's the thing is I don't, my, their happiness, their happiness is not my responsibility. Their comfort is not our responsibility. Um, if they have a problem with the way I am, that is their problem, not mine. It's not my responsibility to fix it or to ease it or anything, uh, uh, anything in the case. So using that argument of that you're hurting your family, that you're doing this horrible thing to them is complete and utter bullshit because you don't owe anyone, family lovers, children, um, friends, you don't owe anyone anything in relation to your body your mind, your thoughts. I'm sorry you don't. And it makes me extremely frustrated because your body is yours and as I said earlier, the only person that is with you from birth to death is you. And so you owe yourself to be happy and to be comfortable and to be content. And if being happy and being content and being comfortable means you're, that you're fat. If making yourself comfortable, making yourself happy is doing that work, is working really hard to get the body that you want to look a specific way, if it's possible, because there are certain people that it's not, that hey, kudos, great. But that's all it's about. And so 
stop with that bullshit about family. Because I'm sorry. My happiness and comfort is a lot more important than theirs. Um, yes, that's all I kind of wanted to say. And I will see you guys in two weeks.